welcome to the Crafty Cottage. My name is Tuesday. Today it is that time of the month where we are going to be playing my November TBR game. close enough to Halloween to where I can still have my Halloween stuff up because although this is a video for November it is going to be coming out the day before Halloween so happy Halloween <laughs> um, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays so I am keeping my decorations up plus most decorations that I have are also fall decorations so they're probably going to be up anyway um, but since this video is coming out on the 30th the day before the 31st which is Halloween I am wearing my witch's brew shirt that my sister made for me uh, I think it is adorable um, and I'm also wearing pumpkin leggings I was wearing Halloween socks but then I stepped in the cat's water he likes to spill it, it's fine. So, first things first, let's talk about my drink. Along with all my Halloween get up, I also am drinking out of my trick or treat cup um, that I got last year around Halloween time. Um, today I'm actually not drinking tea, I'm actually drinking coffee. It is just regular breakfast blend coffee with pumpkin pie creamer in the inside. And for our candle today, we have pumpkin con waffles from Bath and Body Works. This one I've actually lit a few times. I don't know if I've ever lit it on the channel, but it smells so good. So, so let's go ahead and light this and get into the video. So I am wearing a beanie and leggings and pretending that it is wonderful fall weather outside, which it is, but it is still a little hot here in Arkansas because fall only lasts a couple weeks. And we're not quite there yet. So I do have the windows of my house open so if there are any weird noises that I don't cut out, um, that is why I am sitting next to a window. It is open, just so you guys know. If you hadn't noticed, we are back in front of my bookshelf. We are back in the floor. After a couple months of physical therapy, I am able to get up and down by myself without any help. So we are back in our normal spot. I have the game in front of me. Um, so. I am ready to get into this game to see what I'm going to be reading for November, but first we have to talk about my books from October. Of the physical copies of books, I only have two, um, and one of them is Charlotte's Web, which I finished, and I just drew the blue card on that one, and I gave it three stars. The other one that I had was Favorite Scary Stories of American Children, I believe, yes. Um, and that one was set in the 80s, and it was Star-Lord's board from the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. Um, I gave that one two stars. Um, and then I also had Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts, which filled the prompt of your name on the cover. And I gave that one four stars. That was a really, really good book, and I recommend it. And then I also had to read Before the Coffee Gets Cold. At the time of... and that f fulfilled the prompt tea or coffee on the cover or in the title or something like that something like that at the time of filming this I have not yet finished that book but I think I will finish it before the end of the month because today today is the 20th so I have over a week to finish it I should be able to get it done however I don't finish it next month I will then have a punishment for December. Speaking of books that I did not finish and had to roll over into the next month um, I still have Harry Potter I did not finish it. I will take a punishment roll for it. I am this far into it. Right there. So, I didn't finish it. I do have a goal to finish the Harry Potter series. This is book five. It is chunky, so I'm struggling to get through it. So, I'm going to take a punishment for this since I did not get it read in October. And I don't think I'm going to finish it by the end. I could. And that would be surprising. So I'm going to do a punishment roll for not finishing this book. But I am going to be carrying it over to November because I would like to finish the Harry Potter series. Hopefully by the end of the year. If not, carry it over into next year. But I would like to finish it soon. Um, 
book five of seven, so I'm getting there. So I'm rolling this over to November, um, but it is no longer part of my game. So those are the books that I was reading for my TBR game for October. I also have been listening to the audiobook of Coraline. I am not completely finished with it, but I am almost done, so that doesn't even count because it wasn't even part of my TBR. But it is an extra book that I can take into the readathons that I was doing. A couple of them are point point based I believe so that will count towards that. If you have never watched a tea time TBR video before I will go ahead and link the playlist down below that explains all the rules of this game. I previously mentioned that I would like to roll over Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Before the Coffee Gets Cold into November so I can finish those out um, but there is one other book that I would like to get to in December and that is um, a net galley book called The Ballerinas by Rachel I'm gonna butcher her name, hold on. Rachel Cap Elk Dale. Perhaps that's her name, I'm not really sure. Um, but I was graciously allowed to read this arc on NetGalley, so I would like to get to it this month because I need to have it read by December. So, regardless if I can get it to fit in a prompt, I am reading that book this month also. I think I am all done rambling and I am very excited to see what books I get to read in November so let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay so we have a little bit of a different setup. I am on this side of the board um, for the sake of filming um, which it looks very upside down. So we left off here at this red space but since I did not finish Harry Potter I am going to take a punishment roll which means I'm going to roll and move backwards that number of spaces and then we will start the game. So here's my punishment roll. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we are starting on this blue. Roll number one. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Orange, which is free pick or wild card. Okay, so that is perfect. I landed on orange, which is a wild card, which is a free pick. Um, and I'm actually going to do the ballerinas, um, the net galley book. I will flash it right here. It is flashed. Um, I don't know what this book is about. I just realized that. I don't know what this book is about. So that's always fun going in. The cat's on the windowsill. I'll flash a video of him somewhere in here getting on the windowsill. I always do like going into a book not knowing what I'm getting into, so I'm just going to leave it a mystery. Um, the ballerinas were my wild card pick. Uh, so let's go get into roll number two. Roll number two. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blue. I didn't shuffle these. The boy who harnessed the wind. Okay, so I landed on a blue space, which is a book that I own, and I got The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kompkowamba and Brian Mueller. I'm very good at butchering names on this channel. Again, I don't know what this book is about. Um, it is a Netflix film, so maybe I will read this and then watch it. Um, but again, going into it as a mystery. So, the boy who harnessed the wind. Let's get into roll number three. Roll number three. Eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yellow, which is roll again. Okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A red challenge card. Oh, gross. <laughs> Over 500 pages. For roll number three, I landed on a red space and got over 500 pages, which is from Arnold's reading challenge. Um, and I know I said this didn't count for my TBR anymore, which is why I'm using it, but with a whopping 870 pages, this book is back on my TBR. <laughs> um, I'm rolling it over anyway. I want to get it done. It's over 500 pages. Harry Potter. Let's get into roll number four. Roll number four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. A purple prompt. 
word ending in L-Y. So for roll number four, I landed on a purple prompt and got word ending in L-Y. Let me tell you, that was much harder than I thought it was going to be. I looked for a very long time. So I finally found a book that I want to read. Actually, it just took a long time to find one that, ended, or that had an ending in L-Y. That was ridiculous. Anyway, I found a book. That's, what's, that's what matters. Okay, so I am going to be reading The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. I'm going to be audiobooking this one, so I'll flash it up on the screen because I don't own it. But The One and Only Ivan is the book that I'm going to be reading next for book ending in L-Y, or word ending in L-Y. So the books that I will be reading in November are the fifth Harry Potter, which is being rolled over and also is counting for over 500 pages, and The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, as well as The Ballerinas, and The One and Only Ivan. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.